Yeah, I'm just filming it now. Yeah, just about to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right, then. Got to go. Whoa. Welcome to the 650 kilometer review of the M Super X. <laughs> Six hundred fifty kilometers, and it's still performing really, really well. We've had no issues with it whatsoever. Slight thing that was mentioned first off, really, when it's brand new, that the light stays half on when the machine's switched on, um, as you can see here. So, worth bearing out in mind. We were sent a replacement board, but considering it's only a light that's half on once you switch the machine on, it doesn't remain on once you turn it off. Um, hasn't really been a problem, so we've done nothing with that and hasn't affected its use at all. So just leave it on. And actually, I've got half, I'd actually like that mode, a half dim light for daytime use. It's quite handy. So that hasn't caused any issues. So just to update you on that, it's made no difference to anything at all in terms of riding style or anything speeds and caused no issues. The foot plates have worn pretty well, to be fair. The grip has lasted well. The outside edge has got a slight bit of wear on it, but nothing major at all. The rubber sections of this, slight bit of wear again, but fine. Loads and loads of miles left yet on those. The side pads were updated. So when we first got this, if you watched the first video, they were the original ones they released, which were very thin. Um, and they get them wet, they used to soak up moisture and rip off. So these are fitted on after, which is what all of them come with now and have done for quite some time. These, where they're stuck on after, I haven't done a very good job of sticking them on. So if you get some, make sure the surface is really clean to start with before you apply them if you've got the old style, which is probably unlikely you're gonna have the old style because it was only a few of them released with the old style, but just remember that. And the other thing is because they stick out more and I haven't stuck them on very well, if you throw it on the back seat or whatever, lie on its side, you can knock these. And so you can, you know, I need to stick them back on. So I need to get some more glue, basically. Trolley handle is held up. I don't use it that often. We used it in London when we went the other day. Um, it's stiff to get out, but it's good because it doesn't keep falling, falling out, basically. Um, but works absolutely fine. No lift sensor on this M Super X, like some wheels out there, which I actually prefer because you power it off, lift it up. There's not many times I'm taking up steps, so my ride tends to be from A to B without carrying up and down. And I don't use the app with this wheel anyway, I use Map My Ride. Uh, so I'm not actually that keen on the apps that come with these wheels, the majority of them. Uh, Gotway app's been improved since the first video came out, so they've updated it. It's a lot better than it used to be. Many manufacturers are developing their apps as they go along. It's a freebie that comes with the wheel essentially. Most of them have Bluetooth connectivity. So it enables you to keep a track on the mileage, and that's all I really use it for, to see where we're at in the testing, otherwise use MapRide for mapping things. So that works absolutely fine. The only addition I've had since the last video is the rear mudguard. And as you can see in this video overlaid is the fitting is four screws that sits on the back, basically, and you drill through and it taps self tapping screws that go into the bodywork. So you'd have to fill them again. If you want to remove that, I'm not sure why you would. It's so discreet, this mudguard, that you might as well get one and fit it. And I wish it would just come in standard, but it doesn't. Um, works really, really well. There's hardly any spray comes off it at all. So it cover, even though it's so discreet and it's rubber. So if it falls backwards on itself when you've turned it off or it's in the car, it just bends and it just goes back into back into shape again afterwards, which is pretty neat. Uh, all the LEDs and everything has remained the same. They will work fine, no failures there whatsoever. I've had no moisture in any of the ports here. Uh, despite riding it in rain, it's been absolutely fine. The other thing about riding in the rain is that none of the bolts here, none of the screws, bolts, whatever, none of them have rusted. On some machines you get rust spots showing. On this, nothing at all. It looks fresh, basically. It looks like it came out of the box. If I cleaned it down properly, we're leaving it in this condition for the video. Um, but if you clean it down, it looks brand new again. There's no signs of real wearing. Now, I haven't had any major crashes on this. I've only dumped it a couple of times, nothing I don't tend to crash wheels unless I'm doing something really stupid. So I'm trying to keep it in as pristine condition as possible. The other thing is, we don't want to crash wheels when we're on test because you can never then be quite sure whether or not it's the crash you had that has caused an issue further on the line if there is one. 
to try and keep them as pristine as possible. But it's holding up really, really well. So the normal scuffs and scrapes you get from putting it behind your car seat or wherever in storage, transporting it around, uh, it's holding up really, really well. This finish is, is really nice. It hasn't, hasn't worn out basically, so that's good. In terms of power and speed, that's remained the same, so it's a ridiculously powerful wheel. It is my go-to wheel at the moment, this M Super X, across all the models we're testing at this moment, so check data video. The advantage with the extra power is that you can go down steps, which probably wouldn't recommend, but in the old days, so four or five years ago, if you tried to ride down steps on a hole, you'd blow a board, because it can't cope with that sudden jolt. And as you can see from the slow-mo shots that we played, the wheel, when you jump off something, even though you're going forward and it's rotating, as you jump, because the gyro is no longer touching the floor, and you're no longer leaning, you can actually see the wheel reverse. So it's going like that, forwards, and as you hit the ground, it's starting to go backwards, and you're forcing it forward again. So you can kind of imagine the amount of forces on the board, on the control board in the unit, it has to deal with. Now steps is that repeated over and over again in quick succession, whilst holding up all your weight. So that's where this extra power of motor is not for top speed. What I like about power, in motors is that you can actually do stuff like that you're not going fast at all but it is also it's not going to blow a board all the components match the motor motor power basically and so there's no issues with that um, so if you want to go off a couple of steps you can do at your own risk I haven't seen how many it can do because I hate going down steps because it always feels like you're gonna fall off backwards and crack your head open but goes down no problem at all doesn't even flinch I really really like the tire Nice, big, thick sidewall on this tyre. Uh, note about the tyre, when we were out in London, we actually got, well, I got a puncture. So I thought, so it went really, really flat, and I was able to ride it around uh, for a short while to get back to the car where we were parked. There was no problem. And as you can see, it's got a massive split in the tyre there. So a piece of glass or something's cut up through and sliced the tyre. But the following day, I went to go and check it. It was at 15 PSI, so it lost a load of air, but I was able to inflate it again, and it's been fine since. So I have no idea. That's a mystery to me, because theoretically, if you rip it in a tube, you've got a puncture. Um, so don't know what's going on there, but it's been up now for quite a few days. No issues whatsoever. The tyre itself is more leaning towards hard standing, so roads and things like that. Now, I do ride this 80% off-road, but it could do with being a little bit more grippy if you want to do pure 100% off-road, you want to do trails like that. Um, you'd need, ideally, an off-road tire. Now, there's quite a few people fitting knobbly tires, like motocross tires, onto this. I wouldn't ride with that on there, to be honest. Not I wouldn't, personally, because it's so noisy on the road, and also you lose a bit of traction when you're on the road. So this is pretty good compromise between the two, two off-road and on-road style. Uh, it's just not quite as good because of the power you really need a gri really grippy tire, especially if you're gonna ride on wet mud. All the trails, I've never slipped off it, so to put it into context, I've never actually come off because of it, but every now and again you can feel it spin up in it a little bit, just because of the power, really. It's a different type of wheel than the smaller ones, so you don't get away with quite so much. It's still doing the same range it did originally, so battery degradation hasn't happened uh, over this mileage at all. Charge times, we use a port splitter to charge it if it's almost flat. So on the weekend, use a port splitter is available on speedfeet.co.uk. You go there, and then you can have two chargers charging it for twice as fast charging. So that's performing well. No faults with it whatsoever. It has never once had a hint of an issue. So it is performing really, really well. Hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification as well. Really important when we do our live show. If you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified when we go live or when we upload a new video. Next video on this will be the final one, which will be the 1,000 kilometer. Hopefully it will all go well between 650 and 1,000. So far, it has been an incredibly strong machine, so I don't have any doubt that it'll be absolutely fine up to 1,000 kilometers. See you on the next one.